Welcome back to another video. I am Denis, lead book marketing coach with We Can Publisher. And in this video, I am going to be going over, here we are, the Amazon book review link hack. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about the or the challenge or the friction that commonly can be caused when we're reaching out for to our ARC readers or our advanced review copy readers. Uh, what is sort of the, some of the challenges? You know, we, we can't expect all the time to get 100% of the people. Say if you have a list of, of, of 100 people, um, <clears throat> we can't expect every single person to, to to be leaving a review. Typically, I tell my clients, you know, expect about a 30% review, like 30% of the people that you give your ARC out to, to actually follow through and leave a review. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of um, relationships can be strained with this, you know, with family and friends, especially if it's your, your first book or it could be even your second book or whatever. You know, you ask them to read it, you know, and maybe leave them a review and you're trying to stay within Amazon's terms of service. Um, but, you know, still there, there's that friction. Um, this will help reduce that friction. So that's that's part of the challenge. And I'll get more into the challenge as well. Of course, you're most interested in what the solution is. And I'm going to talk about that. And then at the bonus, I'm going to give you um, a, a little tip of how to change the mindset of your reviewers. Let's jump right into, uh, let's talk a little bit more about the challenge or the friction that might be there uh, when you ask people to leave reviews. Uh, so for this, I'm just going to be looking at a random book. I literally typed in random book into Amazon Kindle. And this one came up as the very first one here, the book of random tables. Okay. Let's say that this is your book. Well, that's, that's quite a lot of reviews. I mean, he doesn't, I mean, everyone can use more reviews, but he's doing pretty good. All right. How about this one here? The book of random tables again, book of random tables. One. What is the book of random tables? Six, 1960s and 19s. Okay. Let's say this is your book. Okay, and we don't have any reviews, and we're reaching out to um, our ARC readers to be like, hey, you know what, can we get some reviews here? And you know what, I'm filming this in the middle of February. He launched this the end of January, so it's been a couple of weeks. It's a short length. Okay, let's just say this is our book. Okay, we ask for people for reviews, and we say, oh, yeah, well, here's the link to my book. One of the issues is the pure just difficulty to, to leave the review. You're like, okay. We'll go to this link and you have to leave instructions too, right? Okay, go to this link. You have to scroll down and find a button that is the same color as the background. And here's the button here because, you know, it's easy to find for, for people who know where it is. But it's really not super easy. Like, it's not in that classic, like, Amazon... Amazon orange, like this color, like buy now with one click. Like it's quite obvious that they're, this is their main call to action, uh, Amazon on this page. And of course it's up here, you know, I'm in Canada here and I'm looking at amazon.com. So it's not giving it to me here, but it would normally be here. Um, I could buy it with one click. This is obviously Amazon through their testing, which is very, very extensive. This is their main call to action. This down here to write a review, this is not their main call to action at this point, right? Yeah, if you read it on Kindle and at the end of the book, they'll ask you to review it and all that type of stuff. But if we're looking at ARC review copies or readers um, that have read it beforehand and you're looking to get those initial reviews, they're not going to see that. So that is part of the friction is saying, Okay, you have to click on this link, then you have to scroll down, then you have to click on this write a customer review. And we know that the less friction, the easier we make it for people to take a certain action, the more likely they are going to do uh, and actually do it. Okay, whether that be, you know, they get distracted or they get, um, you know, just busy or maybe they don't, they're not very comfortable with technology or whatever reason, uh, that might be part of the issue. So, what is the solution? The solution is giving them a URL that looks like this. And don't worry about this. I'm going to put this uh, in the in the description of this video below the like button. So if you are liking this, then, then certainly like it. Um, but this goes amazon.com forward slash review forward slash just a bunch of garbage like create review question mark and symbol like you know, like it's just whatever. It's like this crazy weird URL from, from Amazon. But it says here ASIN, 
which stands for Amazon Serialized Identification Number, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then equals, and then that's where you put your ASIN. So yes, you do need the book to be published already, and for that, uh, for Amazon to some for to assign you an ASIN. So say we are using this book here. I'll go get my ASIN out of these product details. I'm going to copy that, paste this at the very end here, copy this, put it in the URL at the top here, and let's see what happens. And boom. It takes people right to the uh, creative review page. So it eliminates that entire step, those instructions that you have to do in terms of, okay, we'll go down and click this button that's the same color and, you know, it's kind of hard to find and all this other stuff. Boom, right in this review. And you can send this directly. The easiest is is with email or however you communicate uh, with your ARC team. You can even set this up as part of your uh, email marketing automation campaign. So when you give people a cookie or an incentive to sign up to your list, you can set up an automatic uh, email marketing campaign that whether it be the second email or the third email and you say, you know, hey, reviews are important to us, you know, um, and I'll get into more about the terminology there in just a second. You know, here's a direct link to leave a review. The one downfall is that this is, as you notice here, .com. So um, depending on their Amazon or where they're from, they might you might have to change it to .co, .uk, for an example, or .ca. Uh, and that will change it for those appropriate marketplaces. Uh, another note is double check your ASIN because uh, sometimes, depending on how you upload it and all that sort of thing, your ASIN might be different uh, between a certain marketplaces. It doesn't always happen, but just double check because I would hate for you to uh, put, you know, um, send it up to email and you send this to 100 people or whatever and the ASIN is, is different on in different marketplaces. So, um, I mean... It's not the end of the world. I've I've sent out plenty of emails with broken links. I should really get someone to to double check them more often. But um, so, but yeah, that's just something a note there as well that there is no uh, like with something like Booklinker dot um, net you can set up so it's just one link and people will be directly um, taken to their preferred store uh, based on the location of their IP address. Uh, this doesn't have the ability, unfortunately. So that is the solution to reduce some of the friction um, associated with asking people to leave reviews. Now, I did tease a bonus and how to change the mindset of your reviewers. And that is in the wording of how you say it. So when you think about having to leave a review a lot of people are like well ah, i gotta leave a review i have to sit down i need to think about what i'm gonna say it has to be really brilliant it has to and people get that because if we go here and let me find a book here that's reviewed well well yeah this one here if i scroll down what happens is that the most helpful reviews are bumped to the top so usually, not all the time, but the most helpful reviews are going to be the ones that, well, are the most helpful and most times are the longest. So sometimes you see like on, on products, especially, you know, someone will include a video and someone will include the pros and the cons and it's like this whole thing. So when people think about reviews, they're like, oh man, like I need to sit down. I need to write this whole thing. It needs to be brilliant. It needs to be blah, blah, blah. And that's where we can change the wording and change the mindset, change the mindset of your reviewers from asking for a review to a comment. So comments are everywhere, like Facebook. Um, well, you know what? Now might be a good time to ask you for a comment down below uh, if this is helpful and if this is going to be changing the way you uh, ask your our team for reviews. Uh, but by changing that word review to comment is much less intimidating. It's like, oh, a comment. Okay. A comment is, you know, I could do just a sentence or just a couple of words. And really that's 
you know, it's nice for people to leave full reviews. That's, that's awesome. But, you know, not everyone is, you know, the review type of people. And, you know, most people are going to be the comment type of people, right? Just just a couple of words. It, it reduces the intimidation factor of that. Okay. So to sum up, what we went over is the challenge, the friction. I um, That being... Um, you know, not everyone's going to leave a review. You're trying to make it as easy and as frictionless as possible. Uh, the solution is putting this review here. Remember, um, naturally, we're going to have it as dat.com, as usually by default, um, but you can change it to .ca, .co, .uk, um, depending. You know, on on your on your base and who you're speaking to, and then we have to change the mindset of your reviewers to change the word review to comment. Again, I'm Denny with Weekend Publisher, the lead marketer. If you are interested in reaching more readers and getting more reviews for your books, I do have a link down below as well to uh, the coaching and mentorship. Um, if you are interested in that, click on the link and uh, yeah, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.